best that I could uh, to try and outline this. But we're dividing the same kind of polynomials. We're just using long division instead of synthetic division. So here's our first problem that we're going to use. Okay. Um, so we're going to set this up just like good old old-fashioned long division when you were in elementary school. So we set it up by putting m plus 1 right outside the doghouse or whatever you called it. Um, and just like with synthetic division, you need to make sure you're not missing any terms. Okay, you're not missing any terms. You got to make sure you're in standard form. Um, this one, we don't have a problem with that. Uh, and one good thing about long division is if you're missing a term, it's a whole lot easier to catch than it is with synthetic division because you leave the variables in there. So you don't just have this list of numbers. So it's a little bit easier to see that if you miss it initially as you're doing the problem, you'll see that things aren't lining up correctly. Okay. Um, so let's just go over a little bit of terminology to make sure that we know what I'm calling what. Uh, M plus 1 is the divisor, what we are dividing by. The um, big old long polynomial is our dividend, what is being divided. And then the answer, what goes on top, is our quotient. Okay, that is our quotient. So we've got divisor, dividend, quotient. Um, now, I kind of have mine spaced out so I can show a step uh, between each one. For you, you may want to kind of do this problem in the margin so you don't have to recopy, keep on recopying a bunch of stuff. Um, but I want to show you kind of step by step how you do this. So step one is we divide the first term of the dividend, what's under the division symbol, by the first term of the divisor. So we are going to divide 10m cubed by m. And the result is 10m squared. So that goes just like it does with regular old long division with numbers. That's going to go on top. Now, you need to line it up. Okay, you really need to line it up. Some people don't take me seriously when I say that. And they don't line things up and then things end up kind of going awry later on. So we need to put that over the m squared term that's under the division symbol. Okay, go ahead and just line it up so that we don't have to worry about anything here. Okay. This is also going to help us realize when we're finished with the problem because uh, we're going to run out of room on the top uh, if we line things up correctly. Okay, so step two is we're going to multiply that 10 m squared by the divisor. Okay, it's the same steps as regular division, regular long division with numbers. So we just got variables in here. So we're going to take this and we're going to multiply it by both these terms out here. We're going to multiply by the m and the 1, and we're going to line it up underneath there. So 10m squared times m is 10m cubed. That should always happen. That should always be the same. Every single time, that should always be the same if you, did, if you divided correctly. Okay? Then we're going to multiply it by the 1. So 10m squared times 1 is, of course, 10m squared. Now, you have a little bit of a choice here. On my steps, I say that you subtract, okay? You can subtract, or I like to tell people to do this. Change the signs and add. The reason why I, I do that is because addition is easier than subtraction. And people tend to actually change the sign here, or they forget to subtract the second one they end up adding it. So I prefer to change the signs and add, but it's the same thing as subtraction. Okay, adding a negative is the same as subtracting. But anyways, 10 n cubed plus negative 10 n cubed, that cancels. That should happen every single time. Your first term should cancel. 4 m squared plus negative 10 m squared is negative 6 m squared. And then what do we do with regular division? We bring the stuff down. Okay, so bring down the 2m and the 8. Okay, and I'm going to cheat and I'm going to copy and paste this. Okay, so I already covered that. Bring down the remaining terms. Kind of got ahead of myself. Forgot I had that written down. 
Okay, bring them down. Okay, now we're going to repeat the process. We divide the first term of the remaining polynomial. This in red is the remaining polynomial. We're going to divide that <coughs> by m. We're just repeating the process. So we divide negative 6m squared by m, and we get negative 6m. So that is going to join the 10m squared up there. Okay. So we've got uh, minus 6m, and we repeat the steps. So we're going to multiply negative 6m times m is negative 6m squared. Negative 6m times 1 is negative 6m. I'm multiplying it by both these terms. If I had more than two terms, if I had three terms up here, I'd multiply it by each of them and put the result down here. Okay, so like I said, I like to change the signs and add. So negative 6 plus positive 6, 0. 2 plus 6 is 8. M, bring down the 8. We've got to do this one more time. We've got to divide 8M by M. That gives us 8, so we've got plus 8 on top. And we multiply 8M plus 8. In this case, we have no remainder. Okay? 8m plus negative 8m is 0. 8 plus negative 8 is 0. And just like with the synthetic division, if we have a remainder, we put it over the divisor and we add it to the quotient. Okay? But we didn't have a remainder. So the answer here is our quotient. What's up here on top? 10m squared minus 6m plus 8. Let me remind you again of the conclusions that we draw when we have a remainder of zero. That means that m plus 1 is a factor of our polynomial. Okay, um, m plus 1 times 10 m squared minus 6 m plus 8 gives us our original polynomial. Uh, negative 1 is an x-intercept. Okay, negative 1 is a solution. If we plug in negative 1, into that equation, the 10m cubed plus 4m squared plus 2m plus 8, we would get 0 as an answer. So those are some of the conclusions that we draw when we have a remainder of 0. If you want to keep reminding you of those, we're going to cover them again later on this week. But I want to get that one really um, ingrained in your memory. Okay, let's look at a couple more examples here. Okay, a couple more examples just to get us in the hang of this. Okay, 8m cubed minus 14m squared plus 1 divided by 4m plus 1. So 4m plus 1 goes right here. 8m cubed minus 14m squared. We don't have an m, so we need to put a 0m in there. Okay, that's what my note is on the right. If the dividend is missing terms, Okay, also known as it doesn't have all the powers of the variable all the way down to a constant. You've got to get them under there before you start dividing or you're going to get offline. Okay, so over here to the side, I'm going to kind of do my little mini division, I guess you would say. Okay, so 8m cubed divided by 4m. 8 divided by 4 is 2m cubed divided by m is m squared. So 2m squared, line it up with the m squared term that's under the division symbol. Okay, multiply 2m squared by 4m, 8m cubed, 2m squared by 1, plus 2m squared. Change the signs and add. 8 plus negative 8 is 0. That's supposed to happen. Negative 14 plus negative 2 negative 16m squared, bring down the 0m, we really don't need the plus 1 right now, but might as well bring it down just so we don't lose it. Okay, let's see here, now we divide negative 16m squared by 4m, we get negative 4m. 
Line it up. It goes over the 0m. Bless you. Multiply negative 4m by positive 4m is negative 16m squared. Remember, that's supposed to happen. Negative 4m times positive 1 is negative 4m. Change the signs and add. So negative 16 plus 16, 0. 0 plus 4, 4m. Bring down the plus 1. Okay, last step here, 4m divided by 4m is 1. So we got plus 1 up there. 1 times 4m, 4m, 1 times 1, 1. Change the signs, add, we get 0. So here's our answer right here on top, no remainder. Okay, 2m squared minus 4m plus 1. That's another advantage of long division. You don't have to worry about plugging back in the correct powers. Okay, they're already there. Okay. All right. A couple more, just to make sure we got it. 4m squared plus 28m plus 37 divided by m plus 5. Not missing any powers. We're in standard form. Nothing we have to do there. Okay, so 4m squared divided by m is 4m. Multiply 4m times m, 4m squared, 4m times 5 this time. We had been multiplying by 1, but this time we're multiplying by 5. Change the signs and add. 4 plus negative 4 is 0. 28 plus negative 20 is 8. M, bring down the 37. 8M divided by M is 8. Okay, multiply 8 times M is 8M. 8, 8 times 5 is 40. Change the signs and add 8 plus negative 8, 0. 37 plus negative 40 is negative 3. So we finally got a remainder here. Um, so I'm just going to come over here and write my answer. 4m plus 8 minus 3 over m plus 5. Okay. Okay, and we haven't run into it yet. We're getting ready to. Uh, but another nice thing about the long division versus synthetic division is if uh, your leading coefficient there is not a 1, you don't have to worry about dividing at the end of it. It takes care of it itself. So, like I said, here's, the, here's an example of that. 6K plus 6 is what we're dividing by. We're not going to have to worry about in the end having to divide by 6. The, the problem itself, the process itself is going to take care of that. Now, this dividend is not in standard form. So we have to put it in standard form. Don't just start writing it down the way that it shows up. You have to put it in standard form um, before you can start doing the problem or you will not get the correct answer. Okay? You will not get the correct answer if you don't put it in standard form. Okay, 24k squared divided by 6k. We get 4k. Okay, multiply. 4k times 6k, 24k squared. 4k times 6, 24k. Change the signs and add. 24 plus negative 24 is 0. 18 plus negative 24, negative 6k. Bring down the negative 4. Negative 6k divided by 6k is what? Negative 1. Okay, negative 1. Multiply negative 1 times 6k, negative 6k. Negative 1 times positive 6, negative 6. Change the signs and add. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. Negative 4 plus 6 is 2. So here's what we've got. 4k minus 1 plus 2 over 
6k plus 6. Now this doesn't happen a lot, but we can simplify this right here because we could factor out a 2 from the denominator. I mean, we can factor out more than a 2, but we have a 2 in the numerator, so I'm going to factor a 2 out of the denominator. So we could, uh, the way this will show up on the answer key is 4k minus 1 plus 1 over 3k plus 3. Okay, if it will reduce, it will reduce it. But the only reason why it reduced was because all three of these numbers were divisible by 2. Okay, all three of those numbers have to be divisible by 2. Let me look at the previous remainder, see if I can compare. No, not really. Okay, but let me just point something out. Okay. If this were m plus 6, okay, if this were m plus 6, you cannot simplify this one, okay? If that were m plus 6, you could not simplify the 3 and 6. There would have to be a 3 in front of the m as well. It's got to be with all three terms in order to be able to reduce it, okay? Um, so keep that in the back of your mind. There.